And so the, the glove that you're wearing, can you tell me about that? Yeah, yeah, the glove. Yeah, um, I have a problem called focal dystonia. And of course, we talked about this, but uh, it's becoming a pretty pretty known thing now because I think um, Tom Adams is pretty, he's kind of made that kind of well known because mm-hmm. he quit for a while. I think he's playing banjo again, though, right? He is, yeah. yeah. Two finger style. Is he still doing the two fingers? Yeah, I hadn't seen him in a it's while. It's incredible. It sounds awesome. Unbelievable, yeah. Yeah, I've heard him do that, and I was like, God, that's incredible because it sounds like three finger almost. It's a lot of work. But um, of course, Tom's ridiculous he's a genius anyway he could probably play with his feet if he had to yeah, but uh, yeah he, he had focal dystonia which you know crippled his play and I think Steve Dilling had the same problem oh, okay. and um, they think it's some sort of neurological thing where you know it's like um, I don't know some things set it off you know um, a lot of people have problems with their their fingers want to fly out hmm. or it wants to curl under you know and it's like like I said it's a neurological thing where you intend it's almost like um what they call a central tremor, mm-hmm. which is what I think Eddie Adcock has. You know what you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Oh yeah, Eddie has this problem where he he couldn't play anymore, mm-hmm. and it's called I think it's called a central tremor, where when his hand was fine, but when he intended on doing something, his hand would start shaking. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's insane. It I mean it's unbelievable. I mean he he could um, hand would be fine, and then he would go in to sign his name when his when that closer that pen got to the paper he would yeah strange very strange strange. so I think focal dystonia is is kind of a similar thing where I was having a problem with uh, rolling and my single string was getting I I just couldn't do it I I just could not get my finger to work it it had a mind of its own it was very depressing it was awful Um, yeah I mean so uh, luckily I wouldn't play music for a living but um so I went through that for, this has been, probably started eight or nine years ago. Wow. Yeah, it started coming on and um, it got to the point where I could barely play at all. And it's so frustrating, you know, because you knew what to do on yeah, the notes course. and you couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, so I tried everything. Anybody that has focal dystonia will know they've tried everything. I mean, they put rubber bands on their fingers, you know, and try to keep them from going crazy and stuff. And what I ended up doing was um, I started experimenting with a glove and what I did was this particular glove I found that I had to find a particular glove that was very tight I mean I think it has to do with the compression um, of the glove on your hand Um, and I actually wear an inner glove this is a very thin um, musician's glove they call it you can buy them on Amazon and then this one here above it is what they call a roper glove which is actually for roping horses and stuff like that, yeah. Um, so it's extremely tight on my hand, and I didn't think it was going to do anything. I thought I wouldn't be able to play at all, you know. So what I ended up doing was I took the glove, and I, I put the picks over top of it, and I hot glued them to it. It took me a while to figure out exactly the right formula to, to get all this, but... I put the I hot glued them around the bands, and then I would wrap them in black tape, which you can kind of see that. It's kind of got a fly away there now, but, but I put the black tape on there to cover it up and everything. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's it, it has, it's definitely not 100%. Part of it's being rusty, but part of it is the, the focal dystonia too. Um, you know, I couldn't couldn't do um, like that forward backward roll, not the forward backward roll, the Dixie breakdown roll. Yeah. And when I refer to Dixie breakdown roll, I'm talking about that. You know that run? I could not do that roll because of that first finger would not cooperate. So when I started using the the glove, I noticed that that I could do it again. So, yeah, I mean, it's been a lifesaver. And every once in a while, like I said, I'll miss it. You know, um, definitely not like it used to be, right. but um, uh, it's been a lifesaver. Like I said, anybody out there that, that has focal dystonia, try that. Try it, yeah. You know, try it. They'll try anything. I had Botox shot in here. Really? Yeah, that's a common thing. I think Tom Adams had that done. I know Steve Dilling did, where they try to treat the, the focal dystonia with Botox. Whoa. And I had that done, and it actually worked for a 
few months, but it wears off. Oh, yeah. And I don't, you know, I don't really want to do that either. Keep, keep yeah, Botox. Botox. I mean, it's it uh, that's derived from botulism. You know what I mean? That's oh, where wow. it comes from. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, anybody wants to try that, try it. You know, email me. You know, yeah. or, or message me or something. And I'll try to help you with what I did, and it may not work for everybody. Right. You know, you may need a tighter glove, you may need a looser glove, but this particular glove, like I said, you don't want to wear like a, you know, like an oven mitt or something. You know, <laughs> it's got to be very tightly woven, uh, and that's what I like about these is that you don't have the seams on the fingertips and stuff. Sure, yeah. And um, I was really worried about it because I thought maybe it would change the sound. You know, like especially when I mute the bridge on the the stuff. It didn't make a bit of difference. No, it sounds great.